500 meters in any direction, please manually scan the object for a more comprehensive measure. Welcome to Subnautica, Return the Ancients. Now, this is the Halloween update, but there's still new things to look at. And while I have been busy and it's not Halloween anymore, I thought, why not showcase it anyway? Better to do it later than never, right? Now, before I get way too deep into this, I do have something very cool to show you. I've been given a special image to tease all of you with, as it will appear on screen right about now. What do you guys think it is? Now, in my opinion, it kind of reminds me of like the ending to Half-Life Alex. Spoiler alert, by the way. I mean, considering this whole mod is based around, you know, the return of the Ancients, hence the title, and the fact that we have an amazing, you know, array of architect technology that we can use, I would not doubt if we have some bases to run around in once the mod is fully complete. Why is my mug doing that thing? Eh, I'll take a sip. <laughs> And while it is very off topic, I have finished my face tracking on my model, so now you can see the complete and utter terror that I experience thanks to the funny worm fish that lurks in the deep dark abyss of this planet. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Now, we do have a lot of things to look out for this update. Um, one of them being this new amazing Cyclops module. It, it's still, you know, in development. But it's actually very useful. Let me show you guys real quick. See? Alright, so you go over to your cameras, right? You want to go up to the, the coding tower. And you see that... The fa la 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 over there? You can scan it. That's super cool. Now you don't have to, like, you know... Go out into the open ocean. Risk dying to scan something. You just... Just stay in your little mobile home. And just scan away. God, what a majestic creature you are. So the second thing I wanted to show is that now we have an Ion Builder. Now, you may remember, you know, other YouTubers' videos. Uh, you used to be able to, you know, fabricate all the cool architect tech. Architect tech? Inside of the Builder menu. Well, now you have a special builder just for that. See, look at that. It has, like, its own UI and stuff. It's so cool. Hell is moving my Cyclops. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Alright, but anyways. So, new thing. Boom. Now, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but the description obviously states exterior storage module, which can store a large amount of a single type of item by condensing it as much as physically possible. So, I guess if you just, you know, hold on. Give me 10 titanium or something. You just do this. Boop. And I guess that also means you cannot put like other things in there. Yeah. Super cool. And there's an alien computer terminal. Which is just like the ones that you find in bases. I wonder if you'll be able to have a glyphs that you can put on them. Like the blue or the purple or the green, obviously. Super cool. Wait, why is it being pushed? Wow, that really reminds me like in the old days when uh, the life pod would just keep drifting and drifting. That's really weird. Wait, we're in the dead zone, aren't we? Oh no. I sure hope that the funny worm fish doesn't get me. Why are you still moving? Passive fire scan is limited to 500 meters in any direction. Please manually scan the object for a more comprehensive method. Oh! That's right. <laughs> so, for the Halloween update, the Ark is now just a funny bone boy. He's a, he's just a big ol' skeleton. 
Speaking of skeletons, we got a lot of those to look at. Oh man, I'm dying. Now, another thing that they actually updated is the eyes. They actually follow you again. Which, you know, super cool. I love that detail. Not only that, but the behavior of the Gark is completely new. It's a lot more, you know, sporadic. It actually moves around a lot and doesn't just sit there like a docile, friendly giant. Because it's not that. It's an apex predator. So it's gonna go around. I still like how its tongue is just hanging out, though. <laughs> but yeah, it is fast. Very fast. Wow, look at him go. He's just spinning around. Thank you, Garg. Very cool. You may have also caught it there, but there was like a flash of light. Uh, and now- Yeah, there you go. And now has like an electricity pulse. Kind of like how a shocker has like electricity going down its body. The Garg has that too. Super cool. And you are just relentless, aren't you? It looks a lot cooler with just no bioluminescence whatsoever, so that just makes it absolutely terrifying. <laughs> so anyways, speaking of skeletons, for anyone who's a nice archaeologist out there, you might like this next part. They made bones and skeletons of existing leviathans that currently don't have, you know, bones lying around. You have skeletons of the sea dragon, and the Reaper, and, you know, the Garg, but not of Ghost Leviathan, so there you have that. Currently, there's like four different models and poses of these skeletons, which, according to my knowledge, may be placed around here in the Sparse Reef, so that would be cool, interesting. Now, this next part might freak you out. Isn't that just insane? <laughs> now there's two more of these, which I will spawn right now. And there you have it. It's crazy because, I mean, just looking at these skeletons, you're like, yeah, that's a reefback skeleton. You never would have thought that that's what it would look like until you just see it. Whoever did these models, good freaking job, dude. Good job. Pretty spooky for a skeleton update. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. There is one more surprise hidden in this update. One surprise so foul, so terrifying, one cannot even imagine sleeping at night once they see it. This surprise may disturb you. Viewer discretion is advised. I am, of course, talking about the jack o' lantern moon. Yeah. And for those who were curious, because well, honestly, I was just curious. Uh, no, stay night, please. Touching down in 10, 9. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how oh, you held out. Audio is glitching. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the land. Uh, hides the moon because of the fog. Oh, well. Who cares? Down there? I don't know why the audio is going weird. What do you mean but yeah, as you can see, funny Bone Boy comes out of the water, too. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions everywhere. Still super cool. Hey bro, you good? Oh, he tumbling. <laughs> Homie, you good? Oh jeez. Last thing I need is a face hugger for Halloween. <laughs> ah, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Subnautica. Um, I know usually I live stream stuff like this, but what do you guys think of, you know, pre-record and edited stuff? Not sure how this is going to look when edited, I'm only recording this right now, but once it is edited, let me know how you think of it. And until then, I will see you guys next time. And if you guys want, go ahead, subscribe or whatever. You don't have to, but it's a lot. I mean, I'm more active on Twitch anyway. If you want to leave a follow there, you're my guest. Until then, please, take care of yourselves. And I will see you guys in the next one.